Oh yes. Long have the Vikings raided our lands, but nothing prepared us for their great army. For a decade we fought them, the tide of battle ebbing back and forth. Gotta say, I like the graphics, I like the art Until style. Finally, they were defeated, and their great army fled our lands. Now, England lies divided. Its old political order washed away. Too long have we fought amongst ourselves. Now is the time to unite as England. Well, that was a nice England rousing speech. Divided, weakened from a decade of fighting. West Saxa has suffered greatly, but its star is on the rise. It is your fate to bring order back to these lands. Okay, well, that's told me. Uh, Laser Glider, good evening, sir. Welcome to the stream. Did I make it to Tiger Day? No, I didn't. As I said earlier, I'm giving the Tank Museum and Tank Fest and things a miss this year. Just to give it a chance to freshen up, or either for me to forget it as well. So it's uh, it seems like a new thing when I go back to it. Okay, the Mishu, thanks for checking in. Have a good night. Yeah, it's a nice art style, isn't it, Mary Banks? I think it's it's pretty cool. I like it. It's uh, definitely something different, new to the Total War games. Right then. So, we've got an army of rebels to eliminate. We'll not have rebels in my land. We won't tolerate that sort of nonsense. And as you can see, we've got... When I first looked at this, I thought this is a pretty daunting map to look at because of all the settlements you've got lying about. But you don't have to manage them all, not micromanagement. You have um, like little provinces. Let's see if I can find one here. Is that one? Yeah, like the province of this area, which looks like uh, Somerset or somewhere, I think. Um, you've got the main province capital where you build the main buildings in. And then you've got these smaller little villages, which uh, you can use. You can upgrade them from the capital, I think. And you just upgrade mines and farms and stuff like that. So it's, it's not quite as complex or daunting for the micromanagement as that looks. I hope. I might be wrong about that, but I hope. Hajduk Hero, hello sir. Uh, well, country my plane, I'm going for Alfred the Great's English, the West Saxons, Wessex. Mux Vincter. Cool name. Uh, good to see you finally streaming. Thanks very much. Well, I hope you enjoy the game and the stream. Okay, so we've got some, we've got some rebels down here to trash. We've got, if I'm not mistaken, Alfred's army, which is called the Swine Array. I should maybe maybe rename that, the Swine Array. Sounds a bit piggish. If you guys can suggest any names for my army, which uh, should really be me in charge of it, then feel free to add them in the chat. Let's have a look. Stonehenge. I think we can probably just go and trash this guy. Let's go and have a fight right at the start of the game. Get things rolling. Oh yeah. Three options are available. Should easy the outnumber. Outfight these guys. Or retreat. I've noticed the loading times sometimes appear a little bit long on this. I have got it installed on an SSD. I had to check, but it is. But uh, it's not too bad. Object 268v4, I can't lose. That would be a good name for an army. Might be a bit overpowered, though, I think. <laughs> right, let's get started. Uh, decent weather, fog, that'll do. We'll get stuck straight in. Ah, good old beautiful Middle England. Right, where's my guys? Okay. Because the enemy just looks pretty trash-like, I think we'll just stick up on the flank, bit of open ground, and get going. So let's just get around the side of this forest here. Let's get going. Speed the game up a bit. Uh, let's take a look at these blokes. What have we got? So we've got my Royal Swordsman. Oh, that's 
Dazzly Bright Shield. I think we'll have to get some paint on them, lads. Mind you, having said that, Dazzly Enemy might work. Got some spearmen over here. They look more Saxon-like. Dirty wooden shields. Uniforms look a bit uh, uniform. I think they should look a little bit more irregular. But... And what have we got over here? More warriors. They look better armoured. And some archers. Should have some horsemen somewhere as well. Right, we'll get round the flank of these guys. Nice big open terrain. That's what we want. Now we can see what the hell is happening. Oops, hang on. Let's just redo that. Don't really want my horsemen on the wooded flank. Get them over here. Hang on. That's it. Right, the scene is set. Let's slow that down a bit. We'll get the good warriors in a line. Put them in a group. It is very much just like, and in a lot of respects so far, previous Total War games, you can group units up. Where it all tends to go wrong for me is when the battle gets joined and then I really struggle to sort of keep on top of all the chaos going on. You fellas get in the woods for a bit of an outflanking manoeuvre. Let's just run these fellas in now. I think this looks pretty good. Right. Speed up. We do have some archers somewhere. Let's do that. What region am I playing here, Mary? It's um, West Sussex. Uh, West Sussex. Wessex. <laughs> Which is uh, sort of southwest England and South England as well. West Sussex. West Saxa, I think it's called in the game, or Saxia. Okay, okay, let's get this down to regular speed. Whoops, 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 I pressed the wrong thing there. Stop, stop. <laughs> you might see a bit of that with me playing. Right, where's their archers at? Horses over there. Well, I think we should just shoot at this lot because it's just a massive pile of men. Get those fellas going in. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Let's... Oh, they formed a wedge. That looks rather fancy. Okay. We'll trust the good luck there. You go in. And then you lot, stop shooting into my own men. Go over there. That's one thing I've really found annoying with the Total War games is the micromanagement of missile troops over the years. Where you constantly have to make sure they're not shooting your own fellas as they get engaged in melee. And we win in this one. Confident, fresh. We're winning. We're winning. That's good. This looks like... Uh, Pretty good slaughter over here. Are the archers any good? I have no idea, John. It's the first time I've sort of played any battle in this. They shouldn't be, because I'm pretty sure that Saxon Age Viking, uh, Saxon Age archers were not that great. I think the Welsh had some better ones. Right, come on out of there. Let the horses run away. You go for them. Oh, hang on, we've not won this yet. Still some people fighting down here. Right, you, you go over those. And then the horses could easily run down the archers. Guard mode. Loose, loose spacing, that's probably good for going up against archers. Spread out a bit. Yeah, that should be a foregone conclusion. And let's get the general in. Hey, hey, I saw that. Oi, you lot. Just, just go over there, out the way. <laughs> you see, that's, that's exactly what I mean. Friendly fire in these things. I tend to play armies with less missile troops for that reason. I don't like the micromanagement of it. Okay, this looks like a nice, easy victory. 
Yeah, there's nothing left to kill. We'll go with that. With great power comes great micromanagement. Absolutely. Yeah. Hi there, Senzelian77, and welcome to the stream. Right, okay. Ooh, not bad. Not bad for the first battle. I probably took as many casualties to my own archers from my own archers as I did from the enemy, but I uh, didn't lose too many, which is good. And that'll hopefully be the end of that rebel army. Yes. Oh, we lost 57 men. So, when we defeated them, we've got the option of killing all the captives. Sounds a little bit bloodthirsty, that, doesn't it? Uh, recruiting some of them back into my own army or just selling them off. I'll only get 60 gold for selling off the captives. So we'll see if we can recruit a few in there. Get marching, men. How about Sash and Coburg, 1st Regiment, as name for the army? It would fit. Sash and Coburg, where have I heard that before? That's, uh, that's a region in Germany, is it? On the boards? Have a look at this. Tank Papandreou, welcome to the stream. Good evening. Kill them all. Oh, come on! I'm not going to kill them all. I need, I need to, I need to keep some of the captives. I'm trying to pacify England here and form one mighty kingdom. Well, I'm sure we'll find someone to kill though. Okay, so mission completed, which adds a bit of public order, I think. And then, well, it's kind of about deciding where we're going to attack next. Where's the big map? There we go. So we're this, this red zone down here. This is Wessex. And initially I thought about conquering Cornwall and Devon and down here. But as it turns out, they're my vassals anyway. So I don't think we want to go conquering our own vassals. They're on our side for now. Um... I think I'll get a mission to destroy these Vikings, but they look pretty powerful. So we'll maybe form armies up to sort that out. And we'll look at these independent kingdoms here. But Mercia, big Saxon kingdom. I think I'm going to try and keep them friendly. Let's have a... Can I do diplomacy from here? I need to come out, do I? Let's have a look. Let's give this a try because... Uh, Diplomacy and other Total War games can be a bit hit and miss. So let's do... Come, warm yourself by the fire. I think they seem pretty... Yeah, they seem pretty friendly towards me. Let's do... No, I'm not doing an arranged marriage. A declaration of friendship. Should maybe look to see to make sure... Ah, yes, that, would work. that I don't need to conquer any of those territories to win, but we'll, we'll go with that for now. Magical Morel, hi, welcome to the stream. Yes, Sax Coburg is probably the region I was thinking of. How about the Yorkshiremen of the South? Does that work? Yorkshiremen of the South is such a is such a combination of terms even possible? I don't know. Right. Anyway, let's get the realm in order. So we've got some cash. We've got another army sat in a in the town up here. General Eifwald. Can we see his stats? Can we? Let's have a look. Oh, that's his unit. Uh, let's have a look. Character. Oh, well. We'll not worry about that. I'll tell you what we'll worry about, though, is getting some, some soldiers recruited into his army. Um, let's see. Now, you can only recruit stuff when you're in the town or when you're camped, I think, in the wilderness. You have to be in, like, garrison stance or encampment stance. We're going to put some... put a few axe warriors in there. Some two-handed axes. I'm going to avoid the missile troops, because they are a pain in the ass. Oh, we'll give them some cavalry. A bit about flanking and some cheap spearmen, I think. Uh, where's the cost of all this? 1,200. Is that 1,200? Yeah, 1,200. Okay. And... Oh, I might as well fill it up. Go on, we'll put some sword warriors in too. Ka-ching! 
So you'll notice they don't all start full strength. You've got to recruit them and then they slowly build up to full strength afterwards. So, Mountain Ash, yes, Ireland is there on the map and you can play as Irish factions as well. In fact, some of the Viking factions start over in Ireland. Don't know Yorkshire well, but I know the local rival is a real thing here in America. Southside Chicago is infamously tough. I think it's a north-south split everywhere you go in the world. The Southerners against the Northerners. Everyone trying to trying to claim to be the toughest and boldest and the best. Go to New Zealand, and the, the South Islanders really take the pee out of the North Islanders over there, especially over the beer. Right, so we've recruited an army. We can't actually move that out straight away. Where was he? I think the troops will build up faster if I leave them in town. But I'm going to shift them out because I'm going to expect a fight. They have supply level in this, which is something else you have to worry about. They pick up supplies from friendly territories. Food production and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, it's, it's pretty in-depth, which is quite nice. Right, if I, if I have a look on this map. Where is it? I think I can see region wealth. Public order. The one I'm looking for is food. Is there a supplies one or not? Diplomatic attitude. It was food, I think. And because I'm going to be fighting over here, this place seems to have terrible food. But maybe food production just applies to population growth. I don't know. But any, either way, I'm going to try and boost this place up a bit. So we're going to build the next level town hall. Oh, I'm getting short of cash, actually. And down here. Oh, that'll be all my cash. Let's spend it. Yep, we'll increase the sheep farming down there. Okay. First turn over. Empire isn't in flames. We'll call that success and end the stream there, I think. <laughs> Stefan Angerman, hi. Welcome to the stream. And yes, finally a stream. So yes, I hope it is an awesome beginning. And the beginning of lots of new games to be played on Twitch as well. Vikings started doubling. I did not know that. Ooh, mission issued. When Alfred first took the throne of West Saxony, he followed it up with a glorious victory over the great Viking army led by that vicious barbarian, Guthrum. Now it is time for us to finish that fight and permanently deal with East Engel. Wipe them out. Okay. No mercy to the Vikings, apparently. Pick up some influence as a reward. One of your noblemen has increased in rank and gained a skill point. Oh, very nice. Skill points can be spent to gain bonuses from their retinue of followers. Click the notification at the top of the screen to be taken directly to this character. Okay, let's have a look. So who is this general? Does he have a name? Ailsworth, it's not... Uh, just, am I being blind here. That's um, Alfred, surely. He's got the king thing. Yes, there's his name. Right, I couldn't see his name anywhere. Right, King Alfred. Good at command, not so great at governance. Uh, not so much zeal, a lot of influence. Now, I think influence is important because if you get if you get your subordinates having more influence than the king, they start to lose loyalty because they think they can take control themselves. So what can I spend in? Anything that increases influence? No. I can increase zeal. 10% uh, commander's aura, which I think is like a, a bonus he gives to the troops on the battlefield. That'll be the area of effect. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to guess at these. We'll go for the zeal one. Give him a... Give him a priest or something. Oh, that's loyalty. Well, that's always good. Where's the one... Oh, there was one that gave zeal here. I'm sure I saw it. No, well, maybe not. Yeah, there's a, ba a bard? Give zeal? Okay, well, I'll take that. Two zeal. Very good. Tick. We await your command. What else have we got? Ah, Governor Bertrick. Bertrick. Bjortrick. I'm not terribly up on my Saxon pronunciation. He just looks... He's not a hes not a leader. He's got a lot of influence, though. Um, not so great on loyalty. 
we'll make him a better governor. We don't want him getting ideas above his station and leading armies in rebellion. What can we give him? A scribe. That'll do. Something safe. Something we don't have to fight if he if he turns tail. And what else have we got? Aelfwold. Another general. This looks like a bit more of a fighty general. He's a bit loyal. Right, so we'll give him a bit more command. Not replace general. That one there. Ah, he's, he's in charge of my second army. Okay, right. We'll keep these guys moving. In fact, I'm going to stick him in that town on the border. And these men should fill up the ranks a bit faster. Did have another army down here. Yeah, actually, you know, it wasn't until I started reading the Bernard Cornwall books that I realised how big an influence the Vikings had on, like, Scotland, and the northwest of Scotland, and Ireland, like you say. Those pillaging Norsemen got everywhere. Uh, right, we've got a bit of money to spend. I think what we're going to do, because we're going to build some armies, we're going to try and do some stuff that increases our income. What have we got? Wintoncester or Winchester, I think that is. I love the old Saxon place names. I, I really do love these. There's so many I can recognise, like Chippenham, uh, Sirencester, Gloucester, or Hereford. Oh, that's that's still Hereford. That's not changed. What else have we got? I think that's Bath, Bath and Sester, like that. Glastonbury. You know these these places are awesome. Right, let's have a look. Increase food, beach trader. I increase that. Oh, I get more supplies, more food. A bit more market. 1,500. Um, well, why not, I suppose. Supplies and trade is all good stuff. I'm going to go for, like, the coastal places, I think, because maybe a bit of coastal trade will bring in more cash. The clay pit, what does that do? That does add some market. I'm guessing that's more money. That's cheap. I like cheap. We'll go with cheap. Secret to conquest of England is to have lots and lots of daughters. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably true. Marry off everyone. Oh, Senzelian, sorry. Is the, is the stream sort of lagging a bit? It's... Yeah, I'm streaming, because I'm not an affiliated Twitch streamer yet, I do hope to be, um, I don't think I have the quality options on there, unless there's, like, nobody else on Twitch and they've got some spare to hand out for the night. Uh, so, yeah, sorry if uh, that's a bit of a problem. Hopefully, in the future, that won't be an issue. You'll have quality options and can choose to watch in a bit lower resolution or something. Okay, anything happened? Governor? Uh, he's just lurfs down. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Where is this guy? Can we go and see where he is? What's his family? Married to Aleswith. No, that's me. I'm... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Right. Let's try that again. <laughs> uh, governor. We'll give him a point of command because at some point he might need to lead an army. So that'll do. Oh, Walst is auto-hosting me. Thank you very much, Walst. Did I read the, the Sharp novels, Bernard Cole? Oh, yes. I read all those years ago. Before, before I watched them on the telly. And I'll tell you what, the books are way better than the TV series. Despite the TV series having Sean Bean and some awesome music. But the books are fantastic. I definitely recommend anyone check them out. If you're into any sort of historical novels. Uh, looks like the Welsh are declaring war. We can ignore that. Where's my armies? So, do I declare war against these people and just go storming in? The men have trained for this. Yeah, could do. I can go straight in there. I'll bring the other army up, I think. We'll go both in together. We will do our utmost. And that's probably going to put a bit of strain on supplies, isn't it? In, uh, in Dorchester. Seems okay. What's the town building? Nothing. Oh no, it is building. 
Okay. Guildford. Um, I don't have the capital of that province, so I don't know if whether, whether it's worth spending a lot there. 